Sad to say, but this is going to be my final video, my final look on this um, Vimage Deep Wavy Indian Hair. Um, I've had it in three weeks, um, and I've already reinstalled it once. Um, I took it out, washed, co-washed it, conditioned my hair, and reinstalled it. And this time, I added a closure. Um, I did a video on this. I did a video before I took it out um, and told you guys that I was getting a closure. I had the closure in my hand. I did the video with me installing it halfway. I installed all of the 18 and then installed a few tracks of the 16 until I got about here. And then I took my closure piece. I put it on. I sold it. And then I continued wrapping around the 16 in the horseshoe. Um, but for some reason that video will not upload. I will. I've already tried like three times and my videos take forever to load. Forever. Like each time I load a video, it takes at least four hours. So yeah. But this is it. Let me get a close up so you guys can see it. Um, I ordered this closure from Lanix, Lanix, whatever you call it. Um, I ordered it from there. Um, they had a really good sale on, I think it was like $55. Um, it's a virgin Indian hair. It was curly. I got the curly, you know, to try to match with this hair. You know, I didn't know if it was going to match exactly, but I knew if it didn't match, you know, I can always straighten it and wear it straight like this. But this hair is like, it's super soft, like ridiculously soft. And it frizzes up like crazy. And I don't like it when it's curly because it's really thick up here and then really thin at the ends so it gets poofy right here and right here it gets really poofy but then you have like these little curls and i just don't like it curly so i just wear it straight um but on this hair the vermage hair um like i said i've had it in for three weeks reinstalled it once um the hair is still good um I can still, you know, I'm not having any problems with it. Still run my fingers through it. Um, I did flat iron it and I just uploaded that video. And that was an old video. I did that video probably about a week and a half ago. But I just got a chance to, to upload it yesterday. And I don't even know if I should say yesterday. Because I don't know when I'm uploading this. But I just wanted to show you guys products that I've been using on the hair. Um, what I do at night. Um, is I wet the hair down. I just have a spray bottle here with some water. Um, and then what I'll do is I wet it and then I add my Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner, my Cream of Nature. You know how some people drop the, um, the conditioner in a bottle of water? I don't really do that. Um, so what I do is just after I spray the water in it, I spray a little bit of the leave-in conditioner since it's a liquid. You know what I'm saying? I don't even put it in there. I just spray it in my hair. A lot of people use this. Garnier Fructis, um, Sleek and Shine, leave-in conditioner. I don't like this stuff. I don't know what sorry. I don't know what it is, but it just doesn't do anything for me. So I don't even bother with that. Okay, so once I spray the water in and spray the leave-in conditioner, um, what I'll do is take two big twists and just twist it up. Um, I showed you guys this in my other videos. Twist it all the way to the ends. If you have like a perm rod or something, what you can do is just wrap your ends around it like that. So that way in the morning time, you know, to have a little bit of curl to it and you won't lose it. Um, you can wrap that up and then I just crisscross it in the back and then wrap it up. That's all I do. Now, if I just throw my bonnet on just like this and don't twist it up, I will respray it in the morning. Um, and I will spray a little bit of the leave-in conditioner. And then what I'll put on it is the um, John Frieda Frizz Ease Dream Curls. Um, don't put a lot of this stuff on there. Most of the people that you see do a review on this will let you know don't put a lot. Because your hair can get kind of crunchy. 
I do like to put a good amount on it because I want it to stay. I want the waves and the curls to stay defined. So I'll put, you know, a generous amount, but I won't overspray it because it'll be really stiff. You know what I'm saying? It, it won't look cute. It'll just be too stiff. Um, as far as heat protectants, excuse me, y'all all in my business. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as heat protectants, what I use, um, I have three that I put in rotation for different reasons. Um, if you guys seen my straightening video, I didn't explain that in the video, which I should have, but, um, I'll explain that to you. Um, at first, when I first started flat ironing my hair, I used this. To me, when I use this, um, the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray, it feels like it protects more <laughs> than any other flat iron spray that I've used. I don't know why, but it just does. So what I was doing was, you know, using this, spraying it each time. Some people I've seen spray, you know, a, a generous amount on one side and go to the other side. But I don't know. I just don't feel like it gets on all the hair. And you want it to protect the hair so it won't burn. So each time I part a section of flat iron it, I'll spray it on there. But I started noticing that when I would spray it on what I wanted to flat iron at that time, the spray would get on the other hair that I just flat ironed. And then I saw it started frizzing back up, you know, because once you add water to it, it curls back up. So I stopped using that once I got halfway up. And then I started on this um, Silk Style Heat Protector Iron Styler. Um... I like this too. Um, I mean, it works pretty good. It just, to me, I don't, like I said, I don't know why, but it just doesn't feel like it's protecting anything. <laughs> it just feels like, it just feels like an oil, like a a moisturizer. That's all. I don't know. It's It, mu it, mu it must be a mind thing. I don't know. But um, I put this on it, and then when I got to my leave out, just to add a little bit of shine, I added my glosser polisher, heat protected, and this is my favorite. Um, but I don't want to put too much, like, since I section each part of my hair, I don't want to put this on every part because I don't want it to get too greasy. Although it doesn't really make your hair feel greasy, but you know, when you keep adding stuff, it builds up. So that's why I didn't use this for my whole thing. But I, you know what I'm saying? I would. I'm not saying that I wouldn't, but I just like to use these neck and neck. Um,. So that's it for what I use and then to flat iron it. I will say though, once I flat ironed it and then wet it back up, it's not as curly as it was. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's not as curly as it was. Um, and it's not as big as it was. Um, this is still uh, the two packs of hair. I have probably, here it is right here. Um... This is, once I reinstalled it, um, this is all I had left of the 16, which was in my hair before. Um, yeah, so this is all I have left of the 16. Um, so basically, majority that was up here was taken up by the closure. Um, I mean, I think that's pretty much it. The hair is still doing really, really well, you guys. Um... Still not getting any tangles. I get a few snags here and there, but no, like, you know, tangles where I have to take my comb and rake through it. Um, the only other thing that I'll put in the hair, um, because I will say that this hair can get dry. Um, it can get really dry. So what I'll do is add some of the one and only Argan Oil. Um, I got this from Sally's for $6.99. Um... If you guys if you guys have like that beauty club card it's six dollars and twenty nine cents so this bottle here is six ninety nine or six twenty nine if I want to add some more shine to it um I'll use the um the argan oil cream of nature uh glosser this is like a a sample I have like so many of these y'all um I'll just use a sample of this and I'll put like a quarter size in my hand rub it together and put it on each side. So I put about a quarter side, quarter size on each side. Now what I did with this is I wet it um, with the water 
and then I sprayed some of this on it and while it was wet I put two quarter sides one on each side and just let it dry so it's dry now um, I didn't put any of the dream curls or anything in it um, I'll put some like glosser up here but not a lot uh so yeah that's pretty much it um would I recommend this hair to you guys I definitely would I have had some questions regarding it being virgin um as you guys see I've never put it out there as being a hundred percent virgin because I don't know technically as I said in my first video it has been processed in some way to get the curl um, because the curls were too uniform when I first got them. After I washed the hair and conditioned the hair, um, you know, it is more of a curly wave pattern um, from when I got it. So I don't know. They could have did like a steam process um, on it, you know, which is not harsh, like a chemical process, which I believe they probably did a steam because... I think if they would have done a chemical process, that wave pattern would have lasted a lot longer. Because, like I said, after I washed and conditioned, it was completely out. I mean, when I first got it, it was deep wave, like all going together. So, I don't know. I don't believe it's 100% virgin, though. I'm, I'll let you guys know that. Um, all my reviews that I do would be 100% honest because... I'm a consumer myself and I wouldn't want someone to give me false information to make me go out and purchase the hair and it's not what you guys, you know, what they are portraying. Um, so that's why I come, try to come and do updates now, um, you know, regarding the hair because I want you guys to see, you know, how it goes. Um, hair can definitely change over time. So if I was to come and do a video one week, that doesn't mean that hair is still going to be the same way, you know, three or four weeks later. Um, I do get very, very bored with hair easily. So that's why I'm taking this out um, because I can still keep rock rocking this. It's no problem. Like, it's not giving me any problems. And if a hair is giving me problems, it's gone. you got to go. <laughs> but it's not giving me any problems. Like I said, I can still keep wearing it. It's just that I get bored. So I'm going to take it out and reinstall something else. But I wanted to come let you guys know. Um, how it's doing and it's doing good I do recommend this the prices are not bad at all um, they do have free shipping most people that purchase from Chinese vendors know shipping is crazy it's ridiculous um, their shipping is $30 um, but if you purchase two bundles two or more bundles I believe the shipping is free I'm not sure if it's on selected here or not um, but I believe the shipping is free if you purchase two or more bundles so I would definitely do that and that would save you a lot of money because I've purchased from Chinese vendors in the past and had to pay $25, $30 shipping so hey I'd rather just buy it buy another bundle you know than to pay all that money on shipping so that's it you guys if you have any other questions please leave them down below you guys know I will always get back to you um as soon as I can and I really appreciate everyone watching this video and riding with me on my deep wave journey <laughs> I'll see you guys very, very soon. You guys take care. See you soon.